Okay, so obviously this is not my T61 ThinkPad, but this is my Dell XPS L501X laptop, and it's kind of my desktop replacement. But I had been using it to travel when I went out on the, went out on the road, but it's not really good for that because I cracked this screen right here I had it replaced because I had that accidental damage coverage I believe so I didn't have to replace the screen myself so that was good and but another problem I have is that it has vents on the bottom so it tends to overheat when those vents are blocked so you know you have to kind of sit it on kind of hard surface so it's really not too good to use like on my lap or something like that so kind of prefer to use this as a desktop replacement and the screen is kind of fragile so I just prefer not to take that with me anymore and another reason why I got a T61 ThinkPad was because um, prior to buying the ThinkPad I had been using this Asus it's a one one double o five PB uh, EPC I believe I've been using this for like a year and a half I did some upgrades to it I put an SSD hard drive in it got an extended battery and things like that but I've taken it apart and scavenged it for parts but when it was when I had it um, in working condition. The screen was just too small. It's a 10.1 inch screen and it's not very good for coding and reading PDF documents. And it's not too good at video. It gets uh, on the streaming video on the internet. It gets kind of choppy sometimes. And But the main problem was that this, this vertical space was just not enough for me. So uh, it's real light though. I, I like that about it, but it just wasn't big enough for me. So I got this ThinkPad T61 kind of as an impulse buy. Uh, this tape is you no know, big deal. That's my doing. Uh, but it's kind of, I guess it used to be a corporate laptop because it has the remnants of an asset tag. And it has a uh, a smart card reader on it, which I I don't need and don't have any use for. I thought about replacing it with a combination of uh, PCM CIA uh, slash Express card, but I really don't use an Express card port either, so I'm just gonna leave that. It, um, it doesn't make much of a difference for me. Uh, but what I do want to do is add a secondary hard drive. The main hard drive goes here, and I took the SSD, uh, the Crucial M4 uh, 64 gigabyte SSD hard drive that I bought for my uh, Asus um, laptop, Asus or Asus laptop. I took the SSD hard drive out of there and put it in here but that's not enough storage space for me so I bought this thing it just came in today and I'm just gonna have a look at it now bought it off eBay and it's supposed to, to take let me take an SSD drive not an SSD drive but a, rather a SATA drive and use it in the in the port where the uh, DVD drive, DVD burner is right now. So here it is. It's a SATA. It takes a SATA hard drive and you will be able to use it in the port right there, the, the bay, the ThinkPad bay. So I'm actually going to see how this is going to work. So first thing I'm going to do is put this thing pad to the side. And 
this drive here, this is external hard drive I have, and it was actually the original hard drive that came in the ASUS um, laptop that uh, EPC that I have, and I took it out and put it in here after I replaced that hard drive with the SSD hard drive. So now I'm going to put it in this little serial ATA drive bay and put it in the in my ThinkPad. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. So this should be fairly easy to do. It was easy to put the hard drive in this uh, little external ex enclosure and it's a I think it's 250 gigabytes so it should give me uh, quite a bit of extra space so I'm just going to unscrew it. T61. I was on the fence. I was gonna get the T400, I don't know. Uh, but I, I found the T61 at a good price. And like I said before, I was able to get it um, after the production date where it had the problems with the GPU. So, and I've been pretty happy with it so far. And it's some, some upgrades, that, other upgrades that I want to do on it, uh, but it, it's very fun to use, and I use Linux, and the good thing about that laptop is that basically mostly everything out the box works out the box, so that's the good thing about using older computers, I guess. So that's all, so I think I just, yeah, just pull it out, and this is... Yeah, it's a 250 gig drive. It's only uh, 5400 RPMs, but that's fine. It's just going to be used for extra storage. So now I'm going to unscrew just two more screws, screw the board to the drive. Sometime. Now the reason why I use this drive instead of the hard drive that came with my T61 was because that hard drive had some bad sectors so I went ahead and just got rid of that one. And let's see. Well, I'm guessing it didn't really come with any directions. Let me check though to make sure. It didn't come with any directions, but I think I just screw these in, these screws into the side, and then slide it in. That's the only reason I can think why they included the screws. So I'll just screw these in. I got this this connector. For the ThinkPad, uh, for the Ultra Bay, Ultra Slim Bay, off eBay, and it was like twelve dollars, eleven ninety nine. So right at right at twelve dollars. So it wasn't too bad. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to screw them all the way, but that's how I'm going to do it and see that it fit in there correctly after that. These screws are so tiny. Oh, I knew I 
was gonna drop one. But I guess I caught it. Okay, so I screwed that in. And I think the connectors, yeah, they line up like like this. See, does it go in correctly? Okay, I see what I did. So we just pull it out. I didn't screw this one in all the way, so let me screw that in. it down I guess I'm not for sure how this works okay I'm sure I'm doing something on the have pictures on here that I'm obviously supposed to follow this thing up although I don't know what that's for so let me try again and try to look at the pictures a little more carefully you know we're supposed to slide it in here like that okay that one goes in so I guess I just have to kind of push it in yeah Push it in a bit. And then push it in a little more and then this goes down flat and I guess that kind of kind of holds it I guess in place. I'm not for sure. But it seems to be in there tight now. So Let's put it in the think pad. Okay, so it goes like right here. So I'll just the test comes to see if it actually works if uh, it's actually detected when I start up the system so let me go back and see if that works okay so I have installed the extra hard drive in the ultra bay and so now I'm going to see if the system detects it both uh, before it boots into the operating system and after so let me just power it up and I think I can get to the boot list of devices by going yeah going F12 so yeah it um, it detects my M4 SSD that's number one and then number seven down here is an ATA hard drive so it goes from uh, it goes it's right there and that's great so that means uh, that the system itself detected detected it and so now I'm just gonna boot uh, with the M into the M4 drive because it's the main hard drive and hopefully Linux will detect it as well it should be no problem
if it's right here or just so. Yep, it detects the, the drive just fine. And that's good. So it seems to be working. I'll have to test it out for a few more days, but uh, that's great. So now I have an extra 250 gigs plus my 64 gigs. So that should be more than enough storage for this laptop. And uh, some other things I want to upgrade are the memory in here. I've actually upgraded it a little bit. It's three gigs it came with two gigs, but for my Asus or Asus EPC I had, it uses the same DDR2 memory as this laptop uses. And I took that two gig module out of, out of there and added it to the one gig that was in here. So I got three gigs, and but I, this laptop, I've read it's capable of supporting up to 8 gigs, even though it uh, technically, technically doesn't support it um, officially, but it, it can handle 8 gigs. But DDR2 memory is kind of expensive now, so what I'm going to do, since I have a 2 gig chip, I'm probably going to buy a 4 gig chip and have 6, six gigs, will, which will be more than enough for what I want to do on this laptop. So that's one of the upgrades that I want to do. I might change uh, this this cover out here because it has the remnants of an asset tag. It says it's like stolen property because they removed the top part of the access um, the asset tag. So I might get a, a new hard cover for the top or put something over. It depends. Uh, but there there's a I want to get an extended life battery, but I really like this uh, this T96. I'm happy with the purchase. So, uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.